Well, I just watched the highlights of Deshaun Watson, and I come away with two things right off the bat. After watching Mayfield for four years and then watching Watson, I came away with two things. Number one, that's an elite quarterback, and number two, his arm is ten times stronger than Baker Mayfield, and it ain't even funny. He can throw the ball farther, just as far, if not farther, than Baker Mayfield from any platform. He doesn't need, like, Mayfield threw a ball, I think, 70 yards against the Cardinals this year, right? They said it was, like, the longest pass in the league this year. That just shows you that his uh, torn labor and his opposite shoulder wasn't hurt in this play. He threw the ball 70 yards. But anyway, when Mayfield throws these balls, he has to torque his whole body. Into, you ever notice, like, when Mayfield's in the pocket, he can't just, like, well, he doesn't move around, but he can't move around and, like, make a throw uh, like these other guys with the athleticism. They could just throw it from any platform. Mayfield has to have his feet set. And he has to torque his body to make every throw. He can't throw without his feet set. So he's at a disadvantage there. But anyway, you watch Watson highlights. This dude doesn't, he can throw from any platform, any angle, anything. And the ball's just on a rope. It's like a bullet. And he's making 65 yard throws, flat footed, touchdown passes. Mayfield has to torque his whole body just to be able to play at this level. I mean, every throw Mayfield makes, he has to torque his whole body just to be able to throw the ball. He can't just, you watch these highlights in Watson, you're like, oh my, it's like something you've never seen because you, you watch Mayfield for four years, he can't do these throws. And a couple of that with his running ability, his athleticism, oh, now you know why the Browns gave up what they did to get him. This guy is a stud. He's an elite quarterback. I said top three, he may be the best quarterback in the league. Uh, and his arm talent is off the charts. It's off the charts. Um, he can throw from any angle, any platform, flat-footed, back-foot, anything. It doesn't matter. The ball is on a rope the whole time, and it's accurate. Like I said, Mayfield has to wind up like a fucking top just to be able to play at this level. And consequently, that's what hurts him because uh, he can't. He doesn't have the athleticism that these other guys have. Watch that highlight. I tweeted it out on uh, Twitter, the Gavakian. After watching that, if you're a Browns fan, you watch that, you're going to be like, oh, my God. You'll see the difference right off the It jumps out at you. And even if you're a Mayfield fan and you're whatever and you love Mayfield and you hate Watson, you can't deny that Watson's arms is livelier and uh, better. You can't deny it. Just go watch the tape. Turn the tape on. The tape doesn't lie. Neither do the statistics. The tape don't lie. His arm just jumps out at you. You know, these people said, oh, Watson's arm isn't that strong. <laughs> you got you got some misinformation. I don't care what you've seen or what he threw on a pro day, whatever. You watch him in the game, his arm jumps off the it jumps off the video. It really does. And um, there's no doubt he's got a strong arm than Mayfield. No doubt. And I'll bet you, probably flat footed, he can throw the ball just as far as Mayfield, if not better. Mayfield has to torque up. So I'd like to see Watson honestly try to uh torque up like Mayfield. I bet he throws the ball 80 yards. I because I mean this dude's throwing the ball 65 yards flat footed, basically, from any angle and any platform. It's crazy. And that's what you that's what you need. The good quarterbacks can do that in this league. Mayfield can't do that. That's another reason Mayfield's not signed right now. I mean, he just he has to actually stop whatever he's doing, torque his body to be able to throw the ball. And if you watch all Mayfield, that's what he has to do. The good quarterbacks don't have to do that. Watch Watson's. I tweeted it out. Watch it on the Gavakian. You'll see what I'm talking. It just jumps out at you. There's no doubt his arm's not only stronger than Mayfield, but it's just way livelier. It jumps out at you. So you couple that with his athleticism, his accuracy, and all his intangibles. You got yourself an elite top two, maybe even the best quarterback. I think he personally is the best quarterback in football right now. I do. But he's definitely a top three. So he went from a bottom three quarterback to a top three quarterback that can just do. Watson just can't throw the ball. He can run the ball. It's crazy. It's it's unbelievable. And um if you're a Browns fan, I don't care if you hate Watson. You cannot deny what's on video. You can't. You can say what you want, but you can't deny it. So you watch Mayfield highlights and then go watch Watson. It just jumps out at you. You don't even have to watch Mayfield highlights. Just if you're a Browns fan, you watch them for four years like I have, and you will turn on the Watson highlights. It just jumps within the first seconds. It just boom. It's there. So yes, Mayfield does have a strong arm, but it's not as strong as Watson. It's not even close. And he has to torque his body just to be able to play at this level. I mean, he could be literally run around the pocket, scram around, and he's got to stop it. Here's what Mayfield has to do. I'm going to show you what he has to do to play at this level. Mayfield has to do this. Wind up. Where Deshaun Watson can go like this and just flick it out there. Watch the highlights. They don't, they don't lie. They don't lie. So... There's a reason Andrew Barry and Jimmy Haslam and Stefanski wanted this guy. And there's a reason we gave up a lot to get him. He's an elite talent. So watch the video. It don't lie. 
I'm going to watch it again. Or maybe I'll do a breakdown. Maybe my next video will be, if you want a breakdown of it, let me know. I'll do a breakdown of the video why I'm commentating. It's unbelievable.